Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. So today we'll talk about something called as file handling in Java. Now to handle file, we have to concentrate on some classes. So, uh, so initially when you talk about file handling, we will be storing some data in a file and we'll retrieve those data from a file, right? So let me my, let uh, let uh, let suppose my file name is demo demo.txt. So to store data in a file, we have to write in a file, right? We have to write. So normally when you say you have to write, this is a method, right? So when you when you say you have to do something, so you have to use methods. Now when you say write, in write we have to pass some data. So we will pass like, uh, we can pass a data like uh, demo content. So we can, we will pass this data. But when you talk about this, yeah, we need some main function. So we have a main function and this should include they should be included in our file so so in our main function so we'll do this now when you talk about this method we have to use a method called as write now question arises: what write we have multiple types of write statement we have write uh, text we have write bytes then we have write utf so we'll be using write utf right utf means it's a type of format you know it's a it defines the format in which the data will be saved so uh, when you talk about this notepad, it follows UTF-8, you might be knowing it. So, so we have this write UTF method. Now this write UTF method belongs to a class called as data output stream. So we have a class called a data output stream and it belongs to a package called Java IO. So we have to create object of data output stream. Let's suppose the object name is DOS. And to create this object, we'll say new data output stream yeah, so we have new data output stream. Now, when you create this object, what it will ask you for is it will ask you for the object. It will ask you for an object of file input stream. So, to, in, in order to use data output stream object, in order to create this object, we need to create object of file output stream. So, we'll say fos equal to new file output stream. And this will ask you for a file name. So we'll say file name is uh, we'll say file name is demo dot txt. So we can have multiple formats. We can have txt. We can have dat. And then you have to pass this object here. So we can say fos. And this method is a non-static method. Belongs to a class called a data output stream. So what we need to do is we have to use the object of data output stream in order to save data. So using this you can store. But the problem is uh, there might be some problem in creating this file. There might be some problem in writing in this file. So we will give, we'll be getting uh, errors. So what we need to do is we have to handle this errors. Either we can use a try catch or we can directly say uh, throws exception right so using this we can store the data in our file so let me run this so if i say shift f6 so it's running it's running yeah so you can see it is built successful now question arises where it, this file is so for this we need to go to our uh, documents folder and in admin project so here we can see this is our project and yes we have a file called demo.txt and content is some Chinese text again it is encrypted format for a uh, not file if I see this data we can use yeah. so if I open it with this wordpad also so we have this demo content okay so so now what if we want to read this file from our code itself so what we can do is to read to read this content we have to say there's a method called as read utf right to read we have re read utf it will return something so we will store those data in str right and in order to read this, we have to create object of, see, to store, we have created object of data output stream. So to retrieve, we have to create object of, yeah, it's data input stream. So we'll say data input stream. And we'll say dis equal to new data, oh, it's new data input 
stream. Now, uh, to create object of data output stream, we need an object of file output stream. In the same way, to create object of data input stream, you have to create object of file input stream. So, let's say FIS, it's FIS equal to new file input stream and in brackets we have to pass the file name so file name is demo.txt and here we can pass this fis and semicolon now this read utf belongs to a class called as data input stream so you have to specify the object name so dis dot read utf and now what we can do is we can say s out and we'll say str so now if i run this the output is demo content so what is happening here is you have created a file demo.txt when you say when you say write utf in that file as demo take content now from the same file from the same file we are trying to retrieve the data and we are storing this data in, in, a, in a, a string str and we are, we are printing it yeah that's it but but the problem is we have create we have done some hard coding here we have mentioned the file name in the brackets only so what we can do is in order to change this file name from demo one demo one we have to change in both the uh, methods right so what we can do is we can create an object of file as f equal to new file and in this file we can mention demo dot txt so what you can do is uh, again we have to import the package as you can see if the package name the package where this all this classes belongs is io so it's java dot io and then instead of passing the file name we can specify f here also we can specify f so in future if you want to change your file name as demo one also you have to change it one plus only so what we can do is we can again run this and with the same content so that's about file handling again we have multiple methods to work with so if you have any doubts please comment thank you so much